What's going on YouTube? It's your boy NYJumpman23 here from wearetestes.com. Here to quick you up, here to give you a quick overview of my recent pickup, the Air Jordan 2 Just On. Here we have the Air Jordan 2 Just On collaboration. You have the beautiful leather overlay with uh, suede nubuck material along the midfoot. Uh, it says Air Jordan right on the tongue. And the hang tag also has Air Jordan on one side and Just On on the other. You also have the number 23 all the way in the back on the uh, back of the tongue. On the inside, I'm not sure if you could see it, it says Just Don with the really nice leather in the interior of the uh, the insole. You also have, ah yes, the metal aglets. Same thing that what they would see in the, uh, the Air Jordan Pinnacle 1s and possibly the Pinnacle 4s that might be releasing. Um, Execution by Jumpman and Just On is just amazing. Um, uh, I don't even know what to say with this. This is a really beautiful shoe. The, uh, the beach colorway also says Nike on the bottom with the Air Jordan 2 sole, of course, because it's the Air Jordan 2 collaboration. Uh, mixed in with the 19, I guess the 1987 release uh, before he got injured. He didn't wear the Jordan 2 too much due to injury, but when he did, he was be pretty beastly. Oh, come on, it's Michael Jordan. He's a goat. But overall, the, the overlay of materials is magnificent. I honestly wish that Jordan brand would utilize these type of materials on future releases in terms of um, retro, either retro or even uh, performance releases later on down the line, like 31 or 32. They can utilize a special overlay of this, this type of leather or the suede material along the midfoot and integrate it into the newer technology, the uh, performance woven technology which would have been great. I mean, I would like to see that. And this is the type of leather that you would probably, or close to almost see what you would see back in when they first released in, you know, the 80s and 90s and stuff like that. Even on the, or the earlier retros before 2005, this leather was, was mint. You also, I forgot to even say that the, these laces are awesome because these are like wax laces. So when you tie them up, you got that little shiny look, but also it gives you a really great lockdown. Overall, great job by Jordan Brand. Uh, shout out to Jordan Brand and Don C for this collaboration on such a great execution in regards to just utilize of aesthetics, materials, and just execution in regards to the release. So thank you for Nike for allowing me to win a raffle in regards to this. I don't know if I'm still gonna keep these, I'm still on the fence, but you know, these are just too nice to pass up as far as I see it for now. But yeah. So here we have the rest of the box. This, this packaging came in a massively large box. It's almost like a suitcase. I know you guys don't really want to look at me. You guys rather look at the shoes and the essence and the, the execution and design of the box. On the, on the box itself over here, it says just on. Um, but I'll move the camera in a little bit closer. Sorry about that. It says born and raised on the South Side of Chicago, Don C. Grew up with the Bulls, MJ, and rapidly growing sneaker culture. Um, he launched just down as a, as a luxury brand. Uh, for headwear collection in 2011, reinventing one of the essential canvases of sport. In just a few years' time, his premium caps have found a home on the heads of cultural icons from hip hop all stars to professional athletes. Now, two legends come together as Don C and Jordan collaborate on the Jordan Air Jordan 2 and lift the icon of flight to an all new level of luxury. And I, I honestly I agree with that, you know, when you have two. Uh, statuses of icons like such as Don C and Jordan itself you have just an amazing uh, fixture of quality and performance put together so what also comes in the box is uh, the Air Jordan 2 gold pin move that up if I can give you a better glimpse of it sorry about that I'm trying to do a focus in for you guys um, what also comes inside the packaging is the Don C Air Jordan 2 Wings logo cap, which is pretty dope. Um, try to give you a better overview with it. It has the Wings logo on the front with the nice uh, beach tan, the Air Jordan um, sticker. That's a, of course, just on. Says inside the cap is nice green leather on the on, on, on right here. Just on tag and all over the sh uh, the cap itself and just just on on the back. So, which is really nice quality. Uh, probably won't wear this hat because it's really too nice. You also have the the shoe bag. 
with the Wings logo on it. I'm sorry about that. Let me give you a better view. It says Air Jordan with the Wings logo. And of course, what you guys really care about is the rest of the shoe itself. Here's that and the other shoe. This is actually only my like second time actually officially taking this shoe out. So I'm just giving you guys the, the, the overview, better look of it. So there's that. Um, overall, execution by Jordan Brand, really well done. Collaborate Jordan collaborations overall, not only just uh, Public School New York, but also Don Z. Jordan really ex puts the execution to the max in terms meaning they really put uh, quality of detail, execution, packaging, um, just the combination of storytelling with, you know, some uh, 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 luxury designers history and the perception of how uh, how great things can be and will be from here on out. Uh, if you guys previously had the blue pair, that was a really nice pair, but I wasn't able to get them. Um, but other than that, I was lucky enough to get, get this pair. But this is just a quick overview, of course, of the Nike, uh, the Air Jordan 2 just on. But man, look at this quality. Just even, the, um, I have the, the spotlight shining directly on it, so it'll give you a better look. But come on, this, this green leather, even inside the insole, it has the, uh, this type of pattern leather right into it, into the insole, just exactly like the Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle. It also on the on the tab inside the insole it also says just on but hopefully I can give you a little zoom in view but it's a little tougher because of the lighting sorry about that but you can probably get a little bit of glimpse with the textured insole but overall good stuff by Jordan brand great job again uh, I believe they're going to possibly re-release this and uh, the Chicago 32 State Street uh, South State Street in Chicago Jordan store. So if you're in Chicago, uh, I guess, and also if you're in Toronto during All-Star Weekend, they will probably re-release these on very limited pairs. So if you get a chance, if you, of course, if you have the funds for it, they're $650 retail. Uh, I don't know where you're from or what tax they revolve, uh, resolve around. So, I mean, if you have the money, if you like really luxurious things and are a true Jordan brand collector or enthusiast, a person who actually wants to wear them, I do suggest you get them. Jordan, again, shout out to Jordan brand, nikestar.com for the uh, ability to, to the raffle, you know, giving every, anybody and everybody the ability to chance to obtain a pair of these. Like a person like myself who, who is a uh, Jordan enthusiast, uh, legacy, love the legacy of Jordan brand. But overall, great. Again, this is an overview of the Air Jordan 2 Just Don collaboration. Shout out to Jordan Brand and um, Don C for this collaboration. Uh, to get together, create such a, luxur a luxurious uh, combination of a shoe, utilizing the history of uh, 1987 uh, of the Air Jordan 2 itself. The, the model is such an underrated shoe. I also have the uh, the white and red pair. Um, I Back in the day, I used to have a pair and I, I killed them and I kind of regret them. So I was very fortunate enough for Jordan Brand to re-release these. Same exact model, actually. So it was one of my favorite pairs. It's very comfortable casually. And you could possibly play ball on it, as you've probably seen John Wall of the Washington Wizards, who is not his off as Adidas contract, but you've seen him wear this particular pair uh, pl to play during the season, so the past few games. Uh, but one of my favorite pairs. If you have a chance, you can definitely cop a pair. I believe they might be on sale at the... Uh, I think Nike factory stores, and a couple other stores in particular. But again, in general, the Jordan Don C um, collaboration model with great execution, great quality of aesthetics and materials. I wish the these materials translated to the future retro line and or the uh, current product models that they're releasing in the performance, you know, performance brand. Uh, they can probably mix and match like the Air Jordan maybe 30 or 31 and or so utilizing this materials with the mix and match overlay. Um, they could, there's a possibility, but again, I can't answer for Jordan brand. That's up to them and their product line manager and, and, and probably Tinker and whoever higher up. But great job, great execution. Uh, I, I love this, I love this particular model. Still on the fence whether or not I'm gonna keep them yet, but we'll see, I really do like it. Again, um, this is NY Jumpman 23 You can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram with the same name. And make sure you like, subscribe to the video. Leave a couple comments. I mean, I'll try, I'll try my best to answer uh, 
all the comments or the questions that you give me, I'm still playing catch up with a certain amount. Also, just leave comments and you know, in, in regards to the uh, on the overview at wearetesters.com. So, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And um, hopefully, you come back again. This is NYJumpman23 at wearetesters.com signing out. Thanks for watching. Peace.